The latest Lifetime movie to get the rip from the headlines treatment is finally here. It's The Good Father, executive produced by Nancy Grace. The movie starring Tom Everett Scott and Charisma Carpenter looks at the case of Martin McNeil and the seemingly perfect life he lived until the sudden and suspicious death of his wife. Take a look. Let me in. Let me in. Are you crazy? You think I don't know what you've been up to, but I know everybody in Pleasant Grove. You've been visiting the police and the state's attorney's office and the media telling them that I killed your mother. I'm going to call the police, Dad. I'm calling the police. If you think that I'm capable of murdering her, then you better stop and consider what else I might be capable of. And Tom Everett Scott and Charisma Carpenter are here with us now. Okay, I love it, you two, that we come on and you guys are catching up like, like old friends. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. We're great. Good. Great. So I have to say, I am one of those people, I didn't realize that this was a true story, but two minutes in, I wrote down, oh my goodness, what is going on? Something's wrong. So for anybody who hasn't heard of the story, just, just set it up for them. Basically, the Martin McNeil story, too, is about um, about this trusted man, you know, this revered man in his community and the church and, you know, is this pillar of, of community. And, and he was a lawyer and a doctor and a family of... Uh, how many children did you have? Eight. Six? Eight, Eight children. So four adopted and four, you know, mm -hmm. so everybody like looks to this couple as being like the ultimate, right? They have it all. And behind the scenes is this very sinister, manipulative, you know, obviously sociopathic human being um, that fooled everybody, including his own children. And unfortunately, the onus was then on the eldest child to bring him to justice, which is just the hardest part. I am curious for you both, how much, how many liberties are you allowed to take? Do you take liberties or is, is this strictly big based on the facts that you're given? Well, the script comes in and it's, it's, you know, well written by, you know, the, the writers and, and based on the true story. And then Annie Bradley, our director, she also is the one who's, who's further crafting it, especially on set. And uh, we're not really taking any liberties whatsoever. I mean, not the actors. We're, we're, we're really sticking to what the director and the writers have, have put forth. It's really difficult. The way we make movies today, and especially movies for television, is just there's just only so much time. You know, there were just so many things about Michelle that I would have liked to have seen fleshed out more. And it really just wasn't so much about Michelle as it was, was about, you know, this daughter's triumph of spirit and will and determination against all odds to bring her father, which is a horrible situation to be in, to justice. And, and that sort of, you know, grit that she had. I mean, she was going through loss. She was going through medical school. She was raising her siblings. She was trying to bring her dad to justice. Like, what a woman. <laughs> what an amazing person. So that's who the story's focus was on. We'll take a turn. This is actually something that I've been doing every night with my girls, so I want to do it with you both. I just asked them, what's one thing that's exciting you right now? So I'd like to ask that to the, to the two of you. I mean, I'm home. I've been on the road for three months, so the last thing I want is excitement. What about you, Charisma? I think for me, what's exciting is there seems to be a, a tide, a change uh, happening where social, the society is starting to come together a little bit on the vaccines and we're starting to see, you know, people are getting healthier and stronger and like, you know, we're starting to phase out of that. And I'm very grateful for that. And that's exciting to me. Do you know what else is exciting me? What? Um, this Wonders reunion that I saw that's oh. everywhere for the 25th anniversary of that thing you do. I mean, one of the greatest bonuses of doing that movie was the friendships that we made and the lasting friendships. And this is the 25th anniversary of the movie coming out, which is really cool. And I can't believe it that I... I need to check the math on that. It doesn't seem <laughs> that it's been that long. You are like one of those rare people that get better with age. You know, you and Paul Rudd, like, just look amazing. You know, you, Likewise, that may have been 20 charisma. years ago, but you look amazing. Charisma, you look exactly the same oh, as you're talking about. I love it that we started this interview with flattery. We're ending it with flattery. And I will tell everybody <laughs> that you can catch The Good Father, the Martin McNeil story on October 2nd on Lifetime. Tom and Charisma, you are both a joy. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.